strange. It looks healthy, but it's stone dead. Who cares about some pig? It's dead. Let's go. The pig's dead, my friend. Staring at it won't bring it back. Come on. We'll never fix these brain worms if we stop and gawk at every piece of carrion you find. The boar seems to be fresh, only a few hours dead. Examining the corpse, you see two small puncture wounds in its neck. And is it dead enough for you? It's been drained of blood with wounds in its neck. It's been killed by a vampire. I didn't want to say anything because I didn't want to worry you. They are ferocious creatures. But don't worry, I'll keep watch tonight. We won't have to worry about nocturnal visitors. Now please, let's go. You don't sleep well flitting between dreams and nightmares. Maybe you wake up because you know something is wrong, or maybe you just get lucky. Shit. No, no, it's not what it looks like, I swear. I, I wasn't going to hurt you, I, I just needed, well, blood there in the dim firelight you see him for what he really is a vampire a slave to sanguine hunger it's not what you think i'm not some monster i feed on animals Balls, deer, kobolds, whatever I can get. I'm just too slow right now. Too weak. If I just had a little blood, I could think clearer. Fight better. Please. A strange sensation courses through you, and your companion's mind unfolds. Secrets half revealed. I... What's this? What's happening? Something stirs deep within you, hungry and alert. It's taking something you'll never get back. His mind opens up, revealing cracked and quivering memories. At their heart, you see dark eyes commanding you to feed. You open your mouth and bite down, not into a tender neck, but into the twisting body of a rat, the only thing your master lets you eat. I... Yes. Yes, I ate whatever disgusting vermin my master picked. So you can see why I'm slow to trust you. But I do trust you. And you can trust me. Because we don't have a choice. Not if we're going to save ourselves from these... worms. I need you alive. You need me strong. Please, only be a taste, I swear. I'll be well, you'll be fine, and everything can go back to normal. Ah, of course. I shall be gentle as a babe. Let's make ourselves comfortable, shall we?
It's like a shard of ice into your neck, a quick, sharp pain that fades to throbbing numbness. Your breath catches, your pulse quickens. You lean into him, losing yourself. You can feel your blood racing, coursing through both your bodies. A gentle, numb feeling starts to spread. Something terrible's happened. Dost thou require a new ally? Or mayhaps a resurrection instead? By doom and dusk I strike thy name from the archives. Rise. You're... You're here? Thank goodness. I was worried about you. You looked a little ill last night, but you've certainly recovered. Uh, killed feels like a strong word. Not many corpses have your vigor. <laughs> now I admit I got carried away last night. I apologize. But look at you now, perfectly healthy. So let's not fall out over this. We still need each other, after all. A strong, well-fed vampire? I'm a powerful weapon. You'd be a fool to toss me aside now. Anyway, last night was an aberration. It will never happen again. What do you say? Can we let bygones be bygones? No innocence. You have my word. Only villains that we need to kill anyway. After all, you know what I am now. I can fight with all my weapons. Teeth included. And if I happen to drain the occasional bandit during a fight, what's the harm? They're just as dead. Of course, that sounds eminently reasonable. I shall wait patiently until you suggest we dine together. But until then, no more late night surprises. You have my word on that.